Hi everyone, today we are going to compare the differences between the Model 3 Long Range and the Standard Plus. This is going to be a detailed review to look at what are the key differences between those cool cars. We are going to look at the battery range, we are going to talk about the motors, we are going to talk about the premium interior, the audio system, the connectivity, and of course the resale value of those cars to be able to decide which one is the best to buy and at the end i will give you my personal recommendation so take a look and enjoy the video We are starting our trip today from Tower Hill, one of the oldest monuments in central London. And we are going to go all the way to Carnary Wharf to see the big building from the financial district in the city of London. So the Model 3 uh, Standard Plus have an estimated range of 278 miles where the long range and the performance model have uh, advertised a range of 360 miles, so almost 100 mile difference. You say Standard Run Plus 278 miles is quite good, except for a few things. One of the things is you will notice in the winter, the range that you get is probably a lot less. You know, some of the research that I did show me that on a cold day in a highway, the standard range plus will have only 150 miles of range. And in the city, in the winter, it will be 195 miles of range. Where in the wild mild uh, day, you will probably get 195 miles in a highway and 305 miles in the Standard Plus during the city driving. So the Standard Plus uh, will have uh, a range between the low up to 150 miles and as high as 305 miles based on the temperature and the way you drive. So you see that you get up to 50% drop in the winter and uh, what you also get is uh, over time you will get some battery degradation for up to 10-15%. Um, so if you plan to own the car for a long time, you have to take that into account if you want a standard range plus. If we are talking about the long range and the performance model, we have uh, advertised mileage at 350 miles. Well, it's not exactly the case because in the real world, uh, in the winter months, if you drive on the highway, you probably get no more than 205 miles from 100% battery to zero. Uh, where in uh, the summer or when it's not too hot you will probably uh, get uh, up to 450 miles so the range for the long range is between 200 miles to 415 miles so now if you compare the long range to the standard range plus uh, for the maximum mileage you can get um, you know you get between 300 on the standard range plus to 415 for the long range. So this is the first big difference. It's between the battery range and taking into account how much you can lose in the winter compared to the summer months. Oh, look at this crazy traffic light. It's a unique sculpture inside uh, London. Uh, in this video, we don't talk too much about uh, the performance model, but I think the key difference as you see on the screen is the acceleration that you get on this one um, and also the way that you can put wheels up to 20 inch in the performance model. But apart from that, everything else will be the same and very similar 
to the long range. So that's why I focus more on the long range versus standard model plus. We are in Canary Wharf, the financial district in London. Uh, quite deserted currently because all the offices are closed, everybody working from home. So the other uh, big difference between standard plus and long range is uh, if you buy a long range, you will have all wheel drive dual motor. So you have two motor, one in the front wheel, one in the back. Uh, this will give you better grip and uh, for the winter when you drive on the snow. Um, the all wheel drive from Tesla has two independent motors for improved redundancy each with only one moving part for minimal maintenance and maximum durability. Unlike traditional all-wheel drive system, they digitally control the torque uh, to the front and the rear of the wheels for far better handling and traction control. One of other big difference between the two uh, models, uh, the Standard Run Plus and the Long Range, and the other difference is um, the premium uh, interior design that you will get. So the difference of the premium interior um, are what is the same as well, right? So in the long range, you will have the back seat who are heated, uh, but this you can buy that as an extra after. You have the premium audio, uh, the premium connectivity, and we will speak about it later. You will get uh, some LED uh, LED uh, fog lights and you will get some interior mat uh, floor mat as well available only in the long range uh, model. So, uh, but what you get in both car, uh, which is quite good as well, is where the standard 12-way power adjustable and heated front seat. You have the premium seat material and trim in the standard range plus um, uh, upgraded audio with immersive sound uh, you get that um, and a tinted glass uh, roof uh, with uh, infrared protection uh, you have the power folding heated side mirror and you have bluetooth connectivity for your music and your media and a custom driver profile uh, for each of the driver and as well you will have the uh, center console uh, storage with four usb ports and docking for two smartphones so this is what you get in both model cars on the premium audio uh, this is i think one of the big difference and i did a video of this that i recommend you to watch but the premium audio you get in the long range is a custom audio system featuring 15 speakers for interior sound dynamic comparable from the Tesla website to a recording studio. And it's quite true when you listen to music uh, quite loud, you, you really see the immersive sound taking you all over the car. So that's a big difference between the two. Other difference that you have is a premium connectivity that you get one year of connectivity with a long range and you will only get 30 days of connectivity in the um, standard range plus. Uh, so that's a difference, one year with a long range and only uh, one month. Uh, and after that, you have to pay, and the cost is around ten dollar in the US, ten euro in Europe, and ten pound in the UK. But the difference with that premium connectivity, uh, what it gives you and not give you, um, so you still have the navigation GPS uh, with or without the premium connectivity. But what you get when you get the premium connectivity is uh, live traffic visualization, uh, satellite map view. Uh, video streaming, karaoke, music uh, streaming, and the internet uh, browser uh, because you are connected uh, to. You can get some of those if you have a Wi Fi connection, um, but you will only get when you are uh, stopped uh, with a Wi Fi connection up. Uh, if not, uh, you need the premium connectivity.
And then uh, the uh, resale value, I think, is an important difference that you get between uh, the standard range plus and the long range. I check uh, to see the number of cars available for resale currently. Uh, so um, my source is Auto Trader in the UK. Currently, you have uh, quite a lot of uh, performance uh, car being for sale. There was uh, 49 uh, car for sale from the performance model uh, between uh, 50k to uh, 60k. You also had uh, 27 long range car for sale and uh, between 47k and uh, 44k. And then the um, Standard Range Plus uh, were 32 uh, car and the uh, uh, price range uh, are between uh, 40k for a new model to 36k for a model with one year old. So price also can be uh, an important factor, of course, uh, because you go between 40k for the SR Plus to 47k for the long range. So if the budget is your main driver, then probably you will have to go with the Standard Range Plus and it's still a very good car. But if you have the budget for the long range, my recommendation based on those key differences will be to go for the long range. Um, and that's what we did one year ago and we don't regret it at all. Uh, you get a lot more in the long range with the interior design, with the speaker, with the connectivity, um, with the dual motors. So the comfort of the car is much, much better. So my personal recommendation, if you can, from a budget point of view, go with the long range. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, if you like, don't forget to click the like button subscribe uh, if you want to see more of my video and don't hesitate to comment i would like to know what car did you buy if you own one or what car do you plan to buy if you want to buy one and if you have any question don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section hope to see you soon on my channel and i will leave you with some image of canner wharf london financial district center Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.